Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I will be talking about CLIA or Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments Program. Let's get started. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services or CMS oversees all laboratory testing except research done on humans in the U.S. through CLIA. Congress passed CLIA in 1988 to establish quality standards, strengthen federal oversight of clinical laboratories, and ensure the accuracy and reliability of patient test results. CLIA applies to all laboratories that examine materials derived from the human body for the purpose of providing information for the diagnosis, prevention, or treatment of any disease or impairment of or the assessment of the health of human beings. CLIA mandates nearly all laboratories, including those in physician offices, meet applicable federal requirements and have a current CLIA certificate. CLIA applies to all entities furnishing clinical laboratory services including those that do not file Medicare test claims. Laboratories billing Medicare have additional responsibilities and requirements. For clear regulations, please refer to standards and certification laboratory requirements, which can be found in Title 42, Chapter 4, Subchapter G, and Part 493. Three federal agencies are responsible for CLIA. The Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services or CMS and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention or CDC. Each agency has a unique role in assuring quality laboratory testing. I will talk about each agency's responsibilities on the next slide. What are responsibilities of CMS when it comes to CLIA? CMS approves and or reapproves private accreditation organizations that do inspections. CMS approves state exemptions. CMS collects user fees. CMS conducts inspections and enforces regulatory compliance. CMS issues laboratory certificates. CMS monitors laboratory proficiency testing or PT performance and approves proficiency testing or PT programs. CMS also develops, implements, and publishes CLIA rules and regulations. Now, what are the responsibilities of FDA? FDA categorizes tests based on complexity. FDA reviews application waiver request. FDA also develops CLIA complexity categorization rules and guidance. Now, let's talk about the responsibilities of CDC. CDC conducts laboratory quality improvement studies. CDC develops and distributes professional information and educational resources. CDC develops technical standards and laboratory practice guidelines, including cytology guidelines. CDC also manages the Clinical Laboratory Improvement Advisory Committee. CDC monitors PT practices and gives analysis, research, and technical help. Fees from regulated facilities cover all cost of administering the CLIA program, including certificate and survey cost. The CLIA program grants five types of laboratory certificates. Certificate of waiver, certificate for provider performed microscopy procedures, certificate of registration, certificate of compliance, and certificate of accreditation. Let's talk about the Certificate of Waiver. The Certificate of Waiver allows laboratories to do tests categorized by the FDA as waived tests. Examples include certain glucose and cholesterol testing methods, fecal occult blood tests, pregnancy tests, and some urine tests. Laboratories that only perform waived testing must enroll in the CLIA program, pay applicable certificate fees every two years, and follow manufacturer's test instructions. Laboratories with a certificate of waiver do not receive routine biennial surveys. 
laboratories are surveyed if there is a complaint the testing is beyond the certificate scope there is risk of harm due to inaccurate testing or to collect information about wave tests here we'll talk about the certificate for provider performed microscopy procedures or ppm certificate the ppm certificate is a subset of the moderate complexity test and a unique laboratory classification and certification where a physician mid level practitioner or dentist furnishes only certain microscopy procedures and wave tests during a patient's visit a provider performed microscopy procedure is a moderately complex test using a bright field or phase contrast microscope for example urine sediment examinations or potassium hydroxide or koh preparations the physician mid level practitioner under supervision if required by the state or dentist must personally do the procedure on specimens taken during the visit laboratories with a ppm certificate do not require routine biennial surveys laboratories are surveyed if there is a complaint to determine if the testing is beyond the certificate scope if there is risk of harm due to inaccurate testing or to collect information about provider performed microscopy procedures certificate of registration laboratories applying for a coc or coa initially get a certificate of registration a certificate of registration is temporary and permits the laboratory to perform moderate and high complexity tests until the laboratory is surveyed and found in compliance with clear regulations for laboratories applying for a coa a certificate of registration indicates the laboratory is registered with cms and permits the laboratory to operate until cms gets verification of accreditation approval the certificate of registration or cor is valid for no more than 2 years certificate of compliance or coc laboratories get a coc after an on site survey finds they comply with all applicable clear regulations surveys occur every 2 years at coc laboratories doing moderate and high complexity tests the surveys help lab laboratories improve patient care through education and emphasize standards directly impacting their quality test performance the surveys determine laboratories regulatory compliance the surveyor determines whether laboratories meet clear regulations by interviewing personnel and observing current practices let's talk about the certificate of accreditation or coa laboratories that perform moderate and high complexity tests and meet the standards of a private non-profit accreditation organization or ao approved by cms get a certificate of accreditation A non-profit accreditation organization's requirements must meet or exceed clear program requirements to get CMS approval. Every 6 years or sooner, each organization reapplies for continued deeming authority to ensure its requirements are equivalent to or more stringent than clear. An accreditation organization inspects laboratories once every 2 years. CMS performs a validation survey on a sample of accredited laboratories within 90 days of the accreditation organization's inspection. CMS completes an annual review of each accreditation organization's performance through validation surveys. Clear proficiency testing or PT laboratories performing moderate and high complexity testing must participate in proficiency testing for certain tests pt offers each laboratory performing non wave test a way to measure performance and verify accuracy and reliability a cms approved pt program sends laboratories a set of pt samples approximately 3 times a year laboratories must test the pt samples the same way 
as patient specimens and report the results to the PT program. The PT program grades the results and returns the scores to laboratories so they know how accurately they tested. PT programs undergo an annual CMS reapproval. Hopefully you now have some understanding of the CLIA program. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Take care. Bye now.